Hello everyone, Super Genius Seb here, and this is a flush one wide double piston upwards extender. I, I think I said some of those words in the wrong order, but whatever the case, this is a neat little redstone contraption I came up with. It's five blocks long, one block wide, so that's nice. And it's seven blocks tall. Unfortunately, it, it's not tileable. That would have been really cool, but I'm not really sure how to pull that off. Unless I use, unless I use like no redstone dust and only repeaters and torches. But eh, I'm not really sure that I'd be able to make that in a reasonable like size. You know, I mean, I guess reasonable isn't really that important when you're trying to have them tiled. But oh well. This is pretty self-explanatory. It pushes a block two things upward, two blocks upwards, and then it can pull it back. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory for how you build it, too, so you just take a look at that. All you need to know is that these are sticky pistons, and there. You just place the observer like that so that the arrow and the dot here is pointing into this block. So there you go, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you're in a case where you don't really want to use something like this tall, I have made another version over here. This one is also plus, and it's a 5x2x5. Five by by five. It's not one wide, as you can see over here. Just take a look at that side, right like that. And then take a look over at this side, and that's be all you need to know to build it. Again, the observer is pointing into this block. Um, this can be useful where you're limited on vertical space. Though it, you know, it, again, you can't really, it's not one wide, which I guess one wide is usually more cool when it's tileable. But, you know, I guess whichever s suits you. And this one over here is actually, this one's another one wide. It's a 6x1x5 by by to be specific. It is not plus, however, it's only semi plus. I call it semi plus. I, I don't know if anybody uses this term, but I use it to mean that it's flush on one end, but you have limited space to work with on the other side because of like some redstone there. So you can have it up against, this is the uh, furthest you can have it from a wall right here, that redstone sewing. So that's why I call it semi plus. And there, as you can see, Pretty self-explanatory. Yep, they, they all work pretty much the same. It's just a matter of their sizes. And this one is a less semi flush You call it less semi flush because unlike this one, you have no space to work with on that side. You have to put a wall there if you want it to look flush. And the only benefit to this one is that it's the smallest. It's a 5x1x5. Five by by five. So again, pretty self-explanatory. Just know that you know the observer is pointing into this block like that. And that's it. So I hope these will be these contraptions will be useful to you. In the next video, I'll probably be talking about um, those over there. <laughs> but anyway, this has been Super Genius Seb. And if you like this video, then please make sure to hit the like button. And that's a nice sound. I really like that. Okay. Um, and if you have any feedback on this contraption, any ideas for how to make it better, or any suggestions for what I should build next, please leave them in the comments or or contact me on Mastodon or Twitter or something. Um, and if you really like my videos, then please subscribe so that you can see more contraptions like this and the other content I produce. But until next time, this has been Super Genius Zeb, and I will talk to you again next time. That sounds kind of redundant. Goodbye! <laughs>